Okay, here's the mount we have for Starlink. Look at the how close of a fit and wobble that is here. Here's the, the base. What I want to use is this base right here. Okay. A little bit too loose, but I think I'll be able to put some shims in there. I'm going to take this in and drill a couple holes. Actually, cut this a little bit lower than what the original tripod mount was, hoping that it'll ride up a little bit on this thicker section of the pipe up here. Okay, and that definitely locks it in. There's a little more wobble than what I want right here, but I think what all I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to shim it. Try to shim with some plastic and see how that works. Well, we've had a week of very nice sunny weather. So I shoveled off a little section of the roof here, let it dry out. I've installed the Starlink. And the mount that I ended up using is made by Weingard. It's called the DS2000 antenna mount, 22 inches. I think this will do the trick. When I first got the mount, the inside diameter of the wind guard here was just a little bit larger than the outside diameter of the mast on the Starlink. And so I went ahead and I thought it would fit pretty nicely with the, the little detents that they had here. And I drilled it out, but uh, when I got it installed, it was just a little bit wobbly. And so I secured it with some two self-tapping screws, one on each side of the mast here, and it is really sturdy now. If you're planning to use this same method, I wouldn't even bother drilling these out. I would just go ahead and have somebody help you drill it up and mount it up and install it. And it'll, it'll slip right in there up to the collar up there. You don't have to go through the hassle of trying to drill it out. So what do we got for dimensions here? This is supposed to be a, a 22 inch mast. I assume the 22 inch mast is is measured from there to there. So we essentially have a good 30 inches here. And it's pretty darn sturdy. I wish they had a wider base on the bottom of this, but uh, I think that's pretty darn good. I'm happy with that. I think it looks good. Make sure you mount it in some good structure here. The Starlink mast is about down to here. It must be 12 or 13 inches probably. So if you install this on your roof, you're not going to be able to deal with much snow. So that's basically it. Ran the cable down around here, out of the gutter, and back underneath the eave into the attic.